up, dude? <laughs> Ready? Oh. <laughs> no. Wrong way. Wrong way. This way. <laughs> this way. This way. Forward. Underlay. <laughs> Forward. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Pick a pearl and then they crack it open and then you make your jewelry with it. Really? Yeah. Hello. Like what any of this? those. How you doing, bud? What are they? They are Akoya oysters from Japan, and we guarantee each one is going to have at least one pearl. You see these tongs here? Pick out oh, the oyster you like oh. and bring it right over here to my tray. Okay. How much is it? Fourteen ninety nine. Awesome. Mm. Mm, you sure that's the right one? Oh, I guess I better pick. They are not. They've been dead for about five or six months now. You know how they got this boat into the water? And in order for them to launch it into the water, they used bananas. True story. What do you mean they used bananas? They used bananas because typically they'll use, like if it's the ocean, they'll use oil to like slide it down the metal ramps to get into the water from the land. But because it's, nah. I think it was like 10,000 bananas or something. Why they waste that many bananas? Because they didn't want to pollute the lake with oil. They didn't just have the boat sit That wouldn't even make the boat slide. <laughs> bananas are slippery. It makes the boat slide. <laughs> what are you talking about? How to launch this massive structure from land into water. To grease the rails the traditional way with oils would pollute the lake. The answer, bananas. Where are you taking me? Do you want to be an audience volunteer? What am I volunteering for? They'll put a plunger on your head. Why? Because that's part of the show. Iceberg ahead! Hey! Wait, wrong boat. It's going to be bright, bright, sunshine day. Let's see.